Hey there and welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fitness tips and tricks. Today we're diving into the world of muscle growth and our first stop is the importance of pushing yourself to failure. Now pushing to failure doesn't mean dropping the weight mid-rep or collapsing on the gym floor, it means performing your reps until you can't complete another one with proper form. Why is this important? Well, when you push your muscles to their limit, you fully fatigue them, and this is when the magic happens. This fatigue signals your body that it needs to repair and strengthen those muscles, leading to muscle growth. So, the next time you're in the gym, don't be afraid to push yourself, to challenge your muscles, and to embrace the burn. Remember, pushing to failure means doing reps until you physically can't complete another one with good form. Now let's talk about the number of reps. When it comes to building muscle mass fast, the quantity of your repetitions matters. It's like the Goldilocks principle in action, not too few, not too many, but just right. If you're only doing a couple of reps you're not stimulating enough muscle fibers to spur growth, you're essentially just warming up. On the other hand, doing too many reps can be counterproductive. You risk overtraining which can lead to fatigue, injury, and even halt your progress. So where's the sweet spot? It's typically between 7 and 15 reps. This range is just enough to stress your muscles, causing them to adapt and grow stronger without pushing them into the danger zone of overtraining. It's a balance and finding it can take some trial and error. But remember, so, target between 7 to 15 reps for optimal muscle growth. Now, on to sets. We're diving into the heart of your workout routine here. You might be wondering, how many sets should I do per exercise? Well, the sweet spot lies somewhere between 2 to 3 sets. This range is ideal for muscle growth as it provides a balance between intensity and volume. But it's not just about cranking out sets, rest is equally critical. After each set, take a breather for about 1 to 2 minutes. This allows your muscles to recover, replenish their energy stores and get ready for the next set. It's during this rest period that the magic happens. Your muscles are primed, the blood is flowing and growth is being stimulated. However, it's crucial to remember this. Quality over quantity. It's far more beneficial to do fewer sets with good form than to do more sets with poor form. Proper form ensures that the right muscles are being worked, reducing the risk of injury and ensuring maximum muscle growth. Remember, quality over quantity. Better to do fewer sets with good form than more sets with poor form. Next, let's dive into exercise selection. To build muscle mass fast, each workout should include a carefully chosen blend of exercises. This includes at least one compound exercise and two isolated exercises for each muscle group. Now you might be thinking, what's the difference? Well, compound exercises are movements that engage multiple muscle groups at once. Think of your classic squats, deadlifts, or bench presses. These exercises allow you to lift heavier weights and stimulate a greater amount of muscle fibers, promoting overall growth. On the other hand, isolated exercises focus on one muscle at a time. These are your bicep curls, tricep pushdowns, leg extensions, and so forth. Isolated exercises allow for targeted development and shaping of specific muscles, ensuring no muscle is left behind. By combining these two types of exercises, you're ensuring a well-rounded workout where all muscle fibers get worked. Mixing compound and isolated exercises will ensure all muscle fibers get worked. Let's discuss training frequency. In the pursuit of muscle gains, it's easy to fall into the trap of overtraining. You might think, the more you work a muscle, the faster it'll grow. But that's not how our bodies work. Our muscles need time to recover and grow. When you train, you're essentially causing micro tears in your muscle fibers. Then, your body repairs these tears, which results in muscle growth. But this process takes time. In fact, hitting the same muscle group more than twice a week can hinder your progress rather than speeding it up. Instead of overtraining, focus on giving each muscle group the proper rest it needs. This rest period allows your body to repair and strengthen your muscles, setting you up for more growth in the long run. So remember, more is not always better. So give each muscle group the rest it needs to grow stronger. Let's move on to the importance of form. In the grand gymnasium of body sculpting, form is the master artist. It's the brushstroke that defines quality, the fine line between helping and hurting your body. The emphasis on form isn't a mere suggestion, it's a golden rule. Imagine form as the blueprint of your workout. Just as an architect wouldn't dare to ignore the blueprint of a building, you shouldn't ignore the proper form of an exercise. It's what ensures that the right muscles are activated, and that your efforts are channeled effectively. 
Now let's talk about ego lifting, that notorious beast that lurks in the shadows of the gym, waiting to pounce on your progress. Ego lifting is when someone lifts heavier weights than they can handle with good form. It's a dangerous game to play, my friends. You may think you're impressing others with the weight you're lifting, but what you're really doing is risking injury and hindering your muscle growth. The thing is, your muscles don't know the weight of the dumbbell, barbell, or machine you're using. They know tension, they know stress, they respond to the quality of the movement, not the quantity of the weight. By maintaining good form, you ensure that the right muscle fibers are engaged, leading to more effective stimulation and growth. Ego lifting, on the other hand, often leads to improper form, which can shift the tension to unintended muscles or joints. This not only reduces the effectiveness of the exercise, but also increases the risk of injury. And trust me, there's nothing impressive about a torn ligament or a herniated disc. So the next time you're in the gym, choose your weights wisely. Challenge yourself by all means, but respect your limits. Remember, the goal isn't to impress others with the weights you lift. The goal is to impress yourself with the progress you make. And how do you make progress? By focusing on quality over quantity by lifting smarter, not just heavier, by maintaining proper form and leaving your ego at the door. Remember, lift smart, not just heavy. Finally, let's touch on the importance of recovery. It's a crucial piece of the puzzle that's often overlooked in the quest for muscle mass, but it's just as important as hitting the weights hard. Sleep is your body's time to repair and rebuild those muscles you've been working on. During sleep your body secretes growth hormones which are essential for muscle growth and recovery. So don't skimp on those Zs. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. It's not just about the amount of sleep though, the quality of your sleep matters too. So create a sleep-friendly environment, cool, dark and quiet, and establish a regular sleep schedule. Next up is nutrition. Your body needs fuel to recover and grow. This means consuming a balanced diet rich in protein, the building blocks of muscle. But don't forget your carbs and fats either. Carbohydrates are your body's primary energy source, while fats play a vital role in hormone production. Remember to hydrate too. Water is a major player in all bodily functions, including muscle recovery. And let's not forget about stretching. Stretching helps to increase flexibility, improve circulation, and reduce muscle soreness post-workout. It's a simple yet effective way to enhance recovery. Aim to incorporate a mix of dynamic stretches before your workout and static stretches afterwards. Recovery is a holistic process, encompassing sleep, nutrition, and stretching. It's a time for your body to heal and grow stronger. It's an opportunity to reflect on your progress and prepare for your next workout. It's a chance to rest, refuel, and rejuvenate. Remember, your body grows stronger during recovery, not during the workout. So, take care of your body outside the gym, too.